We're almost done with this. One more time. This is a continuation of the stuff we discussed in the other video about this alternative method for using the V over T times C equals R formula. Anytime you're looking for drops per minute because you don't have a machine to give the IV with, you have to find the drops per minute and you use this to do so. But if it's less than, now you should have watched the other video first, but this makes no sense to you. Watch the video above this, okay? This will make sense once you watch that, okay? But we switched up the way to do it. The V in this case is total volume in milliliters, and that's the total time in minutes, not the number 60. And that's the drop factor, like always. Okay, here's one. I'm gonna get 40 milliliters of, of some uh, medicine, IV fluid, in 20 minutes. And I have a drop factor of 10 drops per milliliter. How many drops per minute will I count? Well, now the other way you had to take the milliliters divided by the minutes and times 60 and ah, no, just do what? Look at this. Total volume in milliliters is 40. Divided by the total time in minutes is 20. The drop factor is 10. It's 40 divided by 20 times 10, or 40 times 10 divided by 20, whichever. You can cancel zeros too if you want to. My goodness, answer 20. Let's see, let's prove that to you. I can take 40 to do it the original way, times 10, then divide by 20. Answer is 20. Or with the canceling zero thing, I can do, you can do this divide by this times this, or this times this divide by this. Either way, it's the same thing. Four divided by two times 10, again, 20. That's simpler, it's so much easier. Let's go real fast, quick like a bunny rabbit. Okay, total volume, 25. Divided by the total time in minutes, 35. Times the drop factor of 15. 25 times 15 divided by 35. The answer is 10.7, which of course rounds off to 11. Nearest whole number. Or to prove it to you, you can do you know, this divided by this times this, or this times this divided by this. Whichever one you do, doesn't matter. Let's do 25 divided by 35, then times 15. It's the same answer. What an amazing thing. Well, again, that was fast, but here's the deal. Use this when it's less than one hour. It's just quicker. Some people just don't want to clutter up their brains with two ways for doing the same formula. I understand my brain's almost full now. That's why my hair is falling out. I got to make room for my brain. But if it'll work, use it. If you don't like it, throw it out the window and don't bother. Use it the other way where T is 60 and V is milliliters per hour. Either way, it's going to work.